I don't think I did this right. That's the understatement of the century. Hello. Hello. And welcome to my YouTube channel where I post one video per year. This is Blair Loop. Blair has uh, recently gotten me into the drag race culture and scene. I'm in Correct. very deep. When we met first was on a trip to London. Yes, in high, in school. high school. I've been a fan of Jordan's photography throughout her whole career in college and everything. She shot my senior portraits. We are excited <laughs> to transform on camera for you, all 30 of you, into Trixie Mattel and yes. Juno Birch. Yes, two drag queens that are very important to us. We're gonna kind of try to do this makeup. I'm not... We don't know what we're doing. I don't have high hopes. So on the off chance that you are watching this, either of you, we're really sorry. But... I'm not. So the first step to drag makeup is blocking brows, which I've never done in my life and I'm terrified to do, but we will be doing that here today. I'm really scared to do this because I've heard the horror stories of it not coming off. I'm gonna start. You start. So apparently what you're supposed to do, <laughs> go against the grain first. So I'm just gonna start. Okay. Well, guess what sis, we're in it. So scared to do this. My eyebrows are like a source of pride for me because I've never waxed them or anything. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Especially I've, for I've growing up. I've never done anything to it. Especially for growing up where we grew up. That's a feat, my friend. Well, my mom would never let me touch them. And she would like take away tweezers and stuff. What a saint. I look like Albert Einstein. <laughs> I didn't know my... Look how long they are when they stand up. This actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I don't know how these drag queens do this every day. Do you have a, uh, they shave their eyebrows, that's what they do. Oh, I would 100% do What if you do it every day? Wait, so do I brush them up or do Formula. I put them over? Okay, um, this is real life. Oh no. I feel like, um, Johnny Rose. Okay, they're looking flatter, so now what we need to do is you need to go with the grain a couple with of times. With the glue? With the glue. Okay. And then Trixie licks it I've for the final that. layer to make it, she said it makes the layer Slick. Like, like with your tongue, just like lick the glue stick. I mean, do it with your finger if that's what you want. I just did what she did in the video and she just licked it. We each have our own glue stick, so. Who figured this shit out is my question. Okay, so tell me about your drag race experiences and how did you get into it? So my older brother um, is gay and has tried for several years to get me into drag race. I was in the Dominican Republic for work. They didn't have The Office on Netflix, but they did have Definitely. every season of RuPaul's Drag Race, but I didn't know at the time that it wasn't available on Netflix in America because I didn't watch it. And then I had to try to find all these different ways to try to find it, and now it's everywhere and I pay for things because I don't want to be without it. But my brother got me into, kind of eased me into some of the queens of Drag Race. I'm a big comedy fan. That's how I got into it with uh, Bianca Del Rio first from um, New Orleans. Yes. We would watch her a lot okay. and that kind of got me into okay. drag queens that's season six i don't know if you've seen that season i did so you had me start with season four right. i don't know i'm listening to you but what do i do now do i keep doing the glue over and over again <laughs> i think we need to let it sit and you can take a makeup wipe okay. and wipe around we're gonna yeah. i don't know anything and so i don't either do and it. i didn't want to like go buy a bunch of stuff so i'm kind of using what we have but i have a lot of makeup so i used to work at sephora but that doesn't mean anything because i don't know how to do anyone's makeup but it made me i think really interested in drag race so it's october now and in May of quarantine, you got me watching Drag Race. Yeah. And I like into it. I don't understand what I was doing with my life. It is a hole I didn't know was there that has now been filled. Like it was a void. Yeah. That I have filled and I just love it. The best part I think is finding all the other people that you didn't know. Yeah. Wa that watch drag. Well, like now that I follow all these drag yeah. queens, like it's like who liked their pictures. I'm like, oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, oh this person's oh. into drag. I, that happens to me still. It just makes me really happy. Well, it's, and the, it's the makeup. So like I, I didn't really get into the beauty YouTuber thing mm -hmm. until a couple years ago with Jeffree Star. I know he's controversial, but he's like a different form of drag. Not like yeah. a performer. He's like right. a lifestyle drag star, I guess. RuPaul says we're all born naked and the rest is drag. So really sense. you could consider anything. I mean, I would consider, I mean, I'm not trying to appropriate anybody's culture and I don't, I'm not about to try to comment intelligently on anything but i would say that sometimes what you do the way that you dress and the way that you have um formed a brand around your stuff is it's kind like of drag. yeah your drag well that's like i'm such a kardashian fan and like, <laughs> they're like drag queens essentially like the looks that they pull off and like the whole idea of a look being from head to toe like the wig the outfit the makeup like the shoes everything on point it's not just like a a fashion thing anymore it's like a it's like a persona i feel like this is still going to show up i know i don't know if we did this right this is like the the grandma stuff that I okay use. it like stinks like it's also i think like how you can um get like talc poisoning but it's fine 
anyway, so I think because I used to work at Sephora and I like makeup, I have gravitated towards drag, but also because there's the comedy aspect totally and better. Like, the fashion aspect. Yeah, the fashion aspect. I mean, that's is... pretty dark. I don't know. The drag queens are not using bare minerals, but here we are. No. <laughs> this is what I have. But you could, this is cream, but maybe you could do like a cream on top of that. I don't know anything about I don't, I know things about makeup, but I don't know anything about blocking brows. Starting to watch Drag Race has made me like inadvertently more confident, which is so weird. It's like, a, yeah. it's like men dressing as women and we already are women, but like for some reason, they're the ones that are giving me confidence. Now I'm like, I want to have like a full look for no reason. That's essentially drag. There are a lot of different like aspects to drag. For instance, Juno Birch is a trans yeah. woman whose so drag is also too. female presenting and not really even female presenting, more alien presenting. Um, <laughs> if you're not familiar with Juno Birch, well, you're about to be because you're look about it up. to be in your living room. Right. See, he uses that Bill Nye stuff. Yeah. Which is like Ben Nye. Ben <laughs> Bill Nye, the science guy. Ben Nye. And it's supposed to be like, I think more like stage makeup, so it's like thicker. Yeah, for sure. I don't really use oh, we're that. We're definitely not. I'm not like using... in my dance recital days anymore. So here we are with like the drugstore guy. I think that we're gonna put some stuff over on top of this. Look, there's also this thing called Facetune and Photoshop. You heard it here first. Trixie always okay, says wait, we'll that, that if you're doing Trixie makeup, not to worry about being perfect because you're gonna put so much makeup no, that it doesn't matter. Perfect. Oh, interesting that you would be singing that song. I know. Jordan. I, I don't like Miley Cyrus. I don't want to bring this up, but Jordan Heffler. <laughs> Recently, openly admitted to an entire <laughs> look group of people I have that she cyberbullied icon Miley Cyrus. I think it was probably out of jealousy, but also annoyance. Because oh she, I find Miley Cyrus to be incredibly annoying. I can't believe you. The good news is no one is going to watch this, and no one cares. This is what the Do What You Want brand is about, and it's about doing what you want. And yeah. today, I want you told me to start my Drag Race journey with season four. So I yeah. did. I am now on season nine. I'm working very slowly because I'm also trying to do the Real Housewives and it's just it's a lot of content to undertake here. But I've only done season four through nine. And then I just know of some of them through Instagram and YouTube and things. But yeah, I mean, you're following along. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so this is the actual stuff that Juno uses. Krylon. Yeah, Krylon, TV paint stick, and TV white. This is gonna be this stunning. This is what Katya does. This is the Krylon <laughs> TV white. Also, Trixie says that this is lit. It, it's yes. Gonna be absolutely so stunning. I can absolutely confirm. Gorgeous. I can confirm. I used it the last two nights for calm makeup and for the Beetlejuice makeup. Yesterday for this, so Juno I think takes a knife, like cuts it out, gets blue, mixes it, mixes it like a painter. Mm -hmm. So I've just been like doing it and then like using this brush on my face and kind of just getting an even thing. I okay. think you should do that. And then this is stuff that I found at. At CVS that you're supposed to mix with your foundation to like cool it or like yeah. change the pigment But if you just use it how it is it is blue I think you should put white on first with that because it actually stays on better than this stuff This looks terrifying up close like in this mirror. I just hope we're in focus. Who is your Favorite now that you've been watching for a while who would you say are your who are the three? I mean, I like Trixie a lot and I think I was influenced by you because you always talked about her even before I got to her season. Right. But it's her aesthetic. It's that 60s aesthetic that I think I would love her anyways, even if you never told me about her. Right. Um, and I like that she's active yeah, on YouTube. Very you. I love, like that dress I'm going to wear, like I literally own that dress. I've never worn it because I've never had an excuse to. Right. It's exactly what she wears like on tour. So besides Trixie though. I don't know. I really, really love like Sharon know. Needles. Because that was the first season I watched, so I was like obsessed with her because she's like a spooky queen. Yeah. Which I enjoy. And I loved Alaska too. I just loved that whole storyline too, that they were together or whatever. I really enjoyed Jinx. I like the funny queens. Makes me so proud. But I also like, I really like, like Shay's fashion. I'm on her season right now and I don't know who actually She's wins that brilliant. season. brilliant. This looks, my oh. brow, I'm still in my brows. This looks so bad. Okay, everybody stop. We're living in a time. Wait, I, can I brush this when over the makeup? This girl hasn't seen the lip sync. Is there like one lip sync that we're speaking of? Yeah, you'll you'll experience it. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> you're like done. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a top three. I liked Kimchi. That she was. Funny. Yeah. Um, Kimchi is amazing. I wonder who my top three are. I feel like Trixie has to be in your top three. You have like all her stuff. She's definitely in my top three. Okay, her brows look Katya perfect. for sure. Oh she yeah, Katya's me, up there. She brings me too much joy. I just kind of forget about her because it's like I only really know uh, her. How dare you. Because she didn't go super far in the competition, so I only really know her through the like YouTube stuff, which through is fine, but like life. that's kind of the same with Trixie, I guess. <laughs> it's a little lopsided. You know Sisters, what? not twins. 
Okay, I think I'm ready for blue, sis. That looks not good. This is gonna be such a fun time. It's like underrated how good they are at makeup. Cause like when you're actually doing it, I'm like, this is, well, it looks so easy when you're watching a video and I watch all the videos and I'm like, oh, I could do that. And now I'm doing it, I'm like, I cannot do that. That does not look as snatched as like it's supposed to. <laughs> you're killing it. <laughs> they look like two little earthworms. <laughs> this is so much harder than it looks for real. You know, I think you're doing pretty swell for your first crack. Not cute. I think I need to name my three favorite because I am. Yeah, because you've been doing pick. this long enough that you should have favorites. I don't have favorites. I would say. That side looks better than that side. If I'm picking top three Trixie Mattel, Jinx Monsoon, Alaska. I have a NYX eyeliner because the gel liner is not in existence. So we're going to try this instead. And I don't have high hopes for it because I hate liquid eyeliner that's like not the Kat Von D one. Okay, and I'm just going to let this sit. Uh, yeah. And I'm shaking. I could never be like a heart surgeon. Definitely not. Trixie always says that people get, they think they look crazy mm -hmm. until it comes out. Oh God. So oh. have faith. I don't think I did this right. That's the understatement of the century. If I could meet any drag queen, hands down, Tammy Brown. Tammy Brown is my number one. I named three drag race girls earlier. Tammy Brown is my favorite drag queen. Oh my God. My brows are not even laid out. I have like straight brows just like hanging out and I'm putting white over them and there's like you do too. Your brows popped out. Yeah. Uh-huh. What did we do wrong? This is tragic. We did all that just for my brows to be hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Stunning. stunning. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Left-handed. Here we go. Why are you doing that with your left hand when you could just do it with your right hand over? Because I feel like this gets a straighter line. I have short arms and big boobs. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know anything about makeup. You got me out here. Look, I know a lot about makeup, and I don't know anything about what I'm doing. That's the problem. This is another league of late of makeup. Like the drag league. queens are on another planet. This white stuff burns quite a bit. I'm not interested That's in that. That's a um, concern. Like Trixie must go through so much makeup. This up close looks absolutely tragic. It's like cracking. It's like Sahara Desert. You did a great job. Oh yeah, up close you're definitely cracking them. Your eyebrows are <laughs> <up though. laughs> I don't know what she's lies. <laughs> Tell us what you do for a living. Tell us like I work. Um, for a local culinary personality and kind of manage all the businesses that he owns. Um, most importantly, where it pertains to most people's lives, Government Taco, which will be opening soon. Delicious. Hopefully soon. Hopefully by the time this video is posted. Can I have a beer, please? Thank you. Thanks, we have Taylor. table service for Thank our YouTube you. videos. This is absolutely crazy that this, you do this much makeup. When There's I do barely makeup, any on. Really? Thanks. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Juno Birch. <laughs> this is so tedious I could never, like this is what happened, we're doing this once and like never again. What's your favorite Lady Gaga song, Jordan? I'm like kind of basic and my favorite Lady Gaga song That's is okay. still Just Dance. Like the first I time. love that for you, Jordan. I just. Who would you, what character would you be if you were playing Snatch Game? I really don't know. I, I thought hard about this the other day. The Joker. Yeah, that'd be a good one. <laughs> who would I be? Mmm. I dressed up as, I went to a Little Theater Baton Rouge production of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Still never seen it. Nobody dressed up. Oh. I went as Riff Raff, so that was a choice. So I think I do a pretty decent Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! You said that you saw Willem live, right? Yes, at Splash in Baton Rouge for Pride back whenever we could go to Pride. Wait, I forgot to say in my favorites, I like Violet Chachki a lot. Yeah. I've seen Violet live and it's something. It's the... The outfit, like the fashion, it's not even like drag, it's like another level of like couture. This is that Maybelline stuff, the Super Stay Foundation. I don't know what color it is. It's so, 112. It's so hard to pick at like CVS because you can't try it there. This is kind of turning out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Are you feeling yourself? How much time do they get like when they're getting ready? Like, how do they know what they can bring to be on the show? It honestly varies season to season. Stuff. If you listen to Race Chaser with Alaska and Willem, you'll kind of get a lot of that background information. And they were both on it at different times and have been able to talk to other people who were on it even before they were on it. So it's kind of cool to see kind of that behind the scenes thing. Sometimes it's real time. Sometimes there's a lot of like waiting in between shots, but they're like pretty much in drag all day. It seems pretty freaking miserable. How do you do foundation in between all this? I don't understand. With precision. I don't grace. have precision or grace. This is wow. the issue. Have you ever met RuPaul? No. Oh my God, I would die. 
You definitely gotta do some like blue eyeshadow though. Yeah, no, yeah we're not lips. done. We're not done. I was just looking. Everyone's I'm sorry this is taking so long. I hope y'all are okay. Jordan made us a pot of her famous chili and we <laughs> can't wait to get at it. Yeah, my famous chili consists of one can of each type of beans they have at Walmart available, which is usually about five types. Uh huh. You pour them all in the crock pot together. Yeah. Two cans of tomato sauce, but if you don't have it, that's fine. I've had it without it, it's fine. Um, I have some hatch chili, also Ooh, one can. Fancy. One of the cans I put in there expired 12 days ago. We'll, we'll see how right. that goes. Um, seasoning blend, usually frozen because I don't cut things up myself. Mm -hmm. um, I was almost out though, so I there was like one frozen chunk of onion, like about this big. And um, a couple of so fork, forkfuls of uh, pickled jalapenos. Saute, what's it called? Brown ground beef. Uh huh. Uh, with two packets of chili seasoning. That's gonna be the best. I can't and wait I don't this. drain the grease; it just all goes in there. And then it's never, it's too much in the crock pot, so that I have to get a spoon and spoon it onto a bowl, and then that sits there for a while till I decide if I'm gonna put it back in there. <laughs> and then <laughs> sometimes it overflows, but right now it seems to be good. Normally I like to cook it for a good like six-ish hours. Today it's going to be cooking for about three hours, but it's all cooked, so it's fine. Like, it's just canned beans and meat I already cooked, so it can't be that bad. I'm going to crack the shit out of my makeup. You have 48 subscribers. 48 subscribers? I thought I had 30. I'd like to thank everyone. I don't really ever post anything on YouTube. I would like, like, because I have all the equipment to do YouTube, and I understand things. I know how to do it. <clears throat> it's just so much work. I don't see how people can, like, do videos like this on the reg. Like, it's a whole production. Like, video, you have to worry about audio. You have to, like, do the editing. You have to export things. Yeah. It takes forever. And, like, with photos, that's just what I'm used to. And there's just not all those other components, you know? I still have to edit. But it's, like, I'm fast at that because that's what I do for a mm -hmm. living. No. Oh, my phone doesn't recognize my face anymore. He goes from his earlobe, from the bottom of his earlobe, to the corner of his mouth. Mm. That's low. Okay. It's kind of happening. What are you gonna do if they see this and they comment on it or they like say something? They won't. <laughs> what are you gonna do if they do? I I die. All right, all right. We need all to right. make some progress over here. I know. I feel like we're taking so freaking long. Is this looking at all? Believable? Yes. We're gonna use this bare minerals generation nude, which Trixie Mattel I'm sure would never use because bare minerals is kind of like grandma makeup. <gasps> oh my god! Good. Oh, the lashes. Oh, the lashes. I forgot we had to do that. Mm. I've been staring at the table dripping the whole time, too. Oh, yeah. We didn't talk about that. So, dripping. Dripping. So this is the table that we played beer pong in the pool with. Yes. You don't need a floating table ever. You just need throw to, in a table. table that floats. You just need a table, and you throw it in the pool, and it will float, but then the water will get in the table and never come out. So now it's in the house, and it's dripping water out of it. Juno does these like white spotlight accents all over her face mm -hmm. and her glasses. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. I'm living for this, Jordan. You're about to look sickening. But absolutely it, stunning. Because I still look crazy in the process. Yeah, it's a crazy process. <laughs> you look so good. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> this is taking like 10 years off my life right now. Okay, here we go. It's happening. Yes, that's happening. <laughs> it feels so weird. This is so long. We're not even a Ringo. fraction of how long they're supposed uh -huh. to be. Ringo. This means he has to go to the bathroom. We Ringo. are in the middle of something. Whoa, Ringo. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's tested negative for COVID-19. Twice. Twice in the last Thank three days. For help. This feels so weird, I can't even. You're there. Do you want a straw for your beer? Thank you. Well, now that we're officially dressed, like, I guess we're done, but now what? <laughs> this chili is absolutely stunning. Right, that's happening. It's full season, and what we've got here is some chili with beans. Some gorgeous beans. Absolutely iconic. Blair makes chili without beans, which is weird. A chili is a chili. A chili Make without chili. beans is just ground beef. You seem to enjoy it, so. I didn't say it was bad. This has been a day. Mm -hmm. There aren't any bars open. There's absolutely nothing we can do in this There's outfit. nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing. But now we feel like actual drag queens who get dressed up to do YouTube. Go support your local drag queens, 
nationally famous drag queens a lot of them especially alaska and willem have been doing a lot of like virtual virtual shows. videos raising money for really really good causes there's tons of podcasts out there if you're at all curious about drag like do not be intimidated dive into it support your local scenes support your local gays be an ally for real for real blair's just like the spokesperson for the gay community and i think they probably couldn't you know have a better spokesperson so they could Thanks for entertaining this, and please go follow Juno Birch and Trixie Mattel please. on YouTube, and don't share this video with anyone you know.